One of the most ambitious projects in Russia's modern space program is the Corona, or Crown, project, which involves the development of a single-stage launch vehicle that is completely reusable and designed for vertical takeoff and landing. Roscosmos, Russia's state space corporation, will oversee the formal design and engineering phase of the project, which is expected to begin in 2026. This vehicle represents an important technological step for the Russian space industry, marking a shift from multi-stage expendable rockets to a single, fully reusable launch system. Once developed, Corona will be able to deploy payloads into orbit and then return intact for rapid reuse, greatly reducing the time and cost between launches. The Corona project serves multiple purposes, including reducing launch costs, improving Russia's independent access to space, shortening turnaround time, and reducing orbital debris by eliminating discarded rocket stages. Long-term visions also suggest that it could be adapted for high-speed, suborbital, point-to-point -point transportation, allowing cargo or passengers to travel between continents in a fraction of the time conventional aircraft would require. The origins of Corona trace back to the early 1990s, when the Makiev Rocket Design Bureau began researching reusable rocket technology. The concept of a single-stage reusable launcher was revolutionary at the time, but it exceeded the material and computational capabilities then available. By 1992, Makiev engineers had initiated preliminary design work. However, funding shortages during Russia's post-Soviet economic crisis forced the project to be halted, and all development was officially stopped in 2012. The rise of reusable rockets in the global market, particularly SpaceX's Falcon 9, reignited Russian interest in the concept. In 2017, Makiev engineers quietly resumed Corona research as a pilot initiative. The official timeline now points to 2026 as the beginning of full-scale development, known as experimental design work. This revival reflects Russia's growing ambition to regain competitiveness in the commercial launch sector and achieve technological parity with leading space powers. The Corona is envisioned as a single-stage to orbit, or SSTO, rocket capable of delivering payloads to orbit, returning to Earth, and landing vertically for reuse. The vehicle's projected height is around 38 meters, with a diameter of 10 meters. It will use liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, commonly abbreviated as LH2 and LOX, as propellants, a combination that provides high efficiency and specific impulse but requires advanced cryogenic systems and extremely lightweight tanks. The rocket's main structure will use composite materials such as carbon fiber to reduce its dry mass, a critical factor in single-stage designs. Equipped with a reusable landing gear system, the vehicle will be able to return and land vertically on the same pad from which it launched removing the need for recovery zones or expendable components. In a single launch mode, Corona is expected to lift up to 6 metric tons of payload to low Earth orbit. With a dual launch assist, this figure could reach around 10.6 tons, based on early performance estimates. The central payload compartment will allow complex missions such as satellite retrieval, orbital servicing, and returning materials or samples from orbit. Because each Corona unit could be reused up to 100 times, the cost per kilogram of payload is projected to be far lower than that of current expendable rockets. This reusability model could dramatically reduce the financial barrier to frequent space access. Launch and recovery operations are expected to take place at the Vostochny Cosmodrome in Russia's Far East. Using the same launch pad for both takeoff and landing will simplify logistics and minimize operational expenses. From a strategic standpoint, a reusable rocket could also serve dual-use purposes. Besides launching satellites and scientific payloads, it could enable rapid global transport, delivering critical cargo anywhere on Earth within an hour via suborbital trajectories. From a commercial perspective, Corona could open entirely new markets, including orbital refueling, satellite servicing, debris removal, and sample return missions. 
If Russia can establish consistent and safe reusability, it could reclaim a significant share of the medium-weight satellite launch sector. Yet, the technical challenges are immense. Reaching orbit in a single stage is among the most demanding feats in aerospace engineering. The rocket must achieve a precise mass ratio to reach orbital velocity, about 7.8 kilometers per second, meaning that most of its weight must be propellant, leaving very little for the structure, engines, and payload. It also requires heat shields capable of withstanding both ascent and re-entry temperatures, engines that can operate efficiently across wide speed ranges, and materials that are simultaneously lightweight and heat-resistant. No country has yet demonstrated a fully operational single-stage-to-orbit vehicle that can both achieve orbit and return intact. For Corona to succeed, Russia must either upgrade or invent several key technologies. The project will feature advanced composite cryogenic tanks for both liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. High-performance reusable engines, capable of deep throttling, multiple restarts, and long operational lifetimes, will be essential. The design also calls for automated vertical landing control systems with precision navigation and guidance. In addition, rapid maintenance systems and reusable thermal shielding will be developed to enable turnaround in days rather than months. Achieving this will demand continuous investment and close coordination among Russia's aerospace enterprises, particularly given economic pressures and international sanctions. The reusable rocket field is already dominated by powerful competitors such as SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, with Starship aiming for full two-stage reusability. For Corona to compete, it must offer not just reliability, but also lower costs. Commercial success will depend on attracting both governmental and private clients with flexible services and affordable pricing. Even a technically sound system could struggle financially without a steady stream of customers. Around the world, reusable rocket development is progressing rapidly. The American Falcon 9 pioneered first stage recovery and reuse, while Starship seeks to recover both stages entirely. China, Europe, and India are also advancing their own reusable launcher concepts. Corona's concept is even more daring, aiming for full orbital flight and recovery in a single stage. Historically, only experimental U.S. programs such as the Delta Clipper, also known as DCX, attempted this, and none achieved orbital capability. If successful, Corona would place Russia among the few nations to have conquered the challenge of single-stage-to-orbit flight. However, this ambition makes it a high-risk project, requiring engineering breakthroughs that have eluded even well-funded programs. According to official Russian plans, the design phase of Corona will begin in 2026, followed by several years of prototype testing. Engineers will focus first on validating key systems such as ground automation, guidance and landing controls, efficient hydrogen engines, and lightweight structural elements. Subscale test flights could start later in the decade, with full-scale demonstrations potentially in the early 2030s if milestones are met. Yet given the complexity of single-stage vehicles, delays are almost certain. A successful test would revolutionize Russia's launch industry, ushering in an era of low-cost, high-frequency space missions. Failure or long delays, however, could render the project obsolete as competitors move ahead with advanced reusable systems. If brought to fruition, Corona could support orbital maintenance, satellite launches, and even lunar logistics. It could also play a role in debris management and future space station resupply. Its success would enhance Russia's image as a technologically resilient power capable of innovation despite global isolation. Ultimately, the Corona Project stands at the intersection of ambition and uncertainty. It symbolizes Russia's boldest attempt to enter the fully reusable era of rocketry, combining hydrogen propulsion, vertical landing, and single-stage operation into one cohesive system. Yet, financial constraints, global competition, and the extraordinary technical hurdles of single-stage flight 
casts long shadows on its future. Regardless of its outcome, Corona marks a significant philosophical shift in Russia's space approach, from expendable systems to sustainable reusability. If it succeeds, it could redefine Russia's place in global space exploration and open a new chapter in reusable rocket technology. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us